In this section, I want to show you how you can create external BGP neighborship. And actually, it is very easy, exactly as what you did during creating internal BGP. But there is a very, very subtle difference between these two. I want to have ISP2 in AS200 and ISP1 in AS100. So I draw these so that I can write into these parts. Select this and this is going to be AS for example 100, uh, 200 actually. And this is AS100. And as you can see there is no uh, connection between these two. So let's go and create these ASs on ISP1 and ISP2. If I open ISP1 and go to routing, first of all, I want to check to see if there is OSP processing or not. There is nothing here. Let's go to routing BGP and change the S number to 100. This is on ISP1 and the router ID. I want to set a router ID and I am going to set this to 100, 100, 100, and 100. And again, nothing else is going to change, so I click on OK. First of all, I want to go to IP addresses and check to see if there is another set here. You can see that there is no loopback interface here. If I click on this and check this, you can, you can see that there is no loopback interface, but I want to have a loopback interface, so I click on interfaces, add a loopback interface using bridge type. This is going to be loopback zero. Click on OK. Go to address list and add hundred, 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 hundred. And there is no need to have an actual IP address for the ID that you are going to set on your BGP. But this is just one very easy to use approach. Okay. Now I have my lookback interface here. Now I have set my BGP instance here. Now I want to connect to router 3. As you can see, there is only one link between me and between router 3. So I don't need to select my lookback interfaces because there is no multiple paths between these two. So it just makes sense to select its Ethernet address and router 3's Ethernet address to connect to each other. So let's go to router 3 and select to add a new BGP period that is going to be ISP for example. No, this is on router 4 actually because I have created, uh, I have configured router uh, ISP 1. So I can go here and add a peer on router 4. It is going to be ISP1. The remote address is 100-148-100. And the remote AS should be 100. This is the remote AS. I'm not going to select any update source actually. Uh, it is going to be the default choice of BGP that is going to be its, uh, you know, exit interface to the ISP. Okay. Now click on OK. And I want to set the same thing on the other side. I need to go to ISP1, go to peers, and add peer, for example, router 4. The remote IP address is 100, 100, 48. 104 and the remote AS is 65,000 and I click on OK and everything is set correctly. After a moment I should see the state is going to change to establish. Now I have a working BGP session with ISP1. The same should be done on the other side. I just want to go to ISP2 and create AS number 200. Let's do this. If I go to ISP2, first of all, I want to make sure that there is no routing enabled here. You can see that the OSPF session is not working. And I need to go to PGP, set the AS number first to 200. 
and the rudder ID is gonna be 200, 200, 200, 200. Again, as you can see, I have added a rudder ID that is not existing. I'm going to change the loopback zero accurate to stop this rather to this value but it is not necessary again I need to go to IP addresses and make sure that look back IP addresses like this okay now let's go to peers and here I want to add a peer that is R5 and it is on 172.16 uh, 35105. The remote IP, the remote AS is 65,000. Click on OK. I should go to rather file of uh, rather actually it was on rather 3. So I need to correct this. This is 103. Okay. Now I need to go to rather 3 and create the same peer here that is ISP2 the remote IP address is 172.16.35.200 or 100 I don't know let me check this and ISP2 it is IP address is this is 200 so if I go to router 3, this is 200, the remote AS is 200, and everything else is as is. Okay, now after a moment I see the established and the creation of external BGP neighborship is done like this. So the BGP session is exactly as what you created in internal BGP except the fact that remote AS is not the same as my rem uh, my AS and because I do not use my loopback interface I do not need to have multi-hub enabled but what if I wanted to use loopback interface? What if I had a uh, multiple paths to my ISP? What should I do in that? I need to uh, create a static route to reach to ISP2's loopback interface or use a routing protocol between ISP2 and router 3 so that I can have loopback interfaces in reach. So what I'm going to do is to use the second option. I want to create RIP between router 3 and ISP2 and I uh, suppose that these two organizations have you know agreed on that uh, they can create a RIP neighborship. Actually there is no RIP neighborship we're gonna want to insist on that but this is just to make it clear. So I go to routing RIP. Under routing RIP, I select the network and this is going to be 172.16.35.0.24 and I want to add 200.200.200.0.24 to my RIP advertisement and I want to have Ethernet 2 of ISP2 and I want to have version 2 there is no authentication I don't want to set authentication here now I want to go to router 3 and add rip here and here I add a network of 172.16.35.0.24 and network 3.3.3.0.24 uh, I go and add the interfaces uh, Ethernet 2, is it Ethernet 2? Yes, it is Ethernet 2 version 2 version 2 and click on OK now if I go to route I can see that the loopback interface of the other side is present here so I can reach it I need to make sure that it is working so if I try to 200, 200, 300, 200 and I want to ping to this using my source IP address 3333 3, 3, 3, and start you can see the ping is successful 
So I can safely change the station to use loopback interfaces. I double click on this and instead of remote at this 172, I select 200. And remote AS is 200. I click on OK and I do the same thing on ISP. I want to use. So let's click on this peer. And instead of this, I want to use 3333. And click on OK. You can see that the state is active. And there is no neighborship right now. If I go to router 3, I can see that again the state is active and there is no neighborship here. And this is because multi-hop is not set. As I told you, whenever you are creating external neighborship, you need to be careful about multi-hop. The default is to set uh, the TTL of the messages to 1. But we need to tell this that we are using our routers, routers uh, loopback interfaces. So we are several hubs away from the destination network. So we need to select to have multi hub. So I select multi hub and click on OK. And I go to the other side again. See that the open sent is done. I need to go to other side. ISP2, I select multi hub and click on OK. And after a moment, you should see that the state is going to be established. And there is something else that I forgot to mention that if I go here, I want to remove the uh, multi hub again, go to router 3, remove multi hub again. And again, I want to mention this. Let's go to Advanced tab. Here we need to change the after source to loopback 0 because we have selected the source to be loopback 0. I click on OK. And the other side is using its loopback 0, so its state is active. And again, I'm not using multi help Just focus on that. If I go to ISP2 here, double click on this and select update source of loopback 0 here and this is because the other side is using my loopback interface IP address. You can see that the state has changed to active. Again it cannot go to established mode because although I have selected the correct uh, update source I have deselected multi-hop. So again I click on multi-hop and on router 3, I select multi hub and I should see the station is established after a moment, and that's it. So, two things to remember first of all, you need to make sure that multi hub is selected for external BGP, and the next thing is in advanced tab, you need to set the correct interface that you have set on the other side. If you have given the loopback 0 IP address of this side to the other side, you need to make the update source match that. And the same things happen on the other side. And again, I need to mention that this doesn't make sense here because I only have one link. But if I had multiple paths to reach to the destination, I would go for this kind of neighborship. And just to show you what you need to do, I set these properties on my BGP neighborship.